Good afternoon, everyone. Th Certainly, we were all shocked uh, by uh, some of the very graphic and heartbreaking uh, images that we've seen from uh, Europe uh, today. Uh, clearly, uh, this situation is very complex and certainly very urgent as we see uh, individual nations trying to handle the huge influx of migrants. Where do they fit in? Do they fit into the Middle East, the Near East region? They we do. Don't, you know, any solution to these kinds of migration challenges uh, certainly uh, should focus on saving and protecting lives, ensuring human rights of all migrants are respected, and promoting uh, orderly and humane migration policies. You know, the rules have been changing before they could actually get to a place where they could try to figure out, okay, what's my next step? It's an extensive review process. Certainly, uh, folks coming from uh, that part of the world, uh, that region, uh, um, we need to obviously conduct a, a thorough uh, review process. I, uh, I've been told it takes anywhere up to 18 to 24 months, so it's, it's, um, it's uh, time consuming. How can the U.S. argue that it is doing everything possible to help these people when you're dealing, one, with such a small number of people who can be admitted? and a Congress which has to agree. These individuals, these refugees, uh, uh, asylum seekers who are being considered by DHS have to pass security background checks mm -hmm. um, precisely because of some of the factors that you raised, which is mm -hmm. that, you know, the fear from, you know, there's a lot of terrorist groups operating in that region, in that part of the world, and we need to make sure that uh, fundamentally that we protect uh, the national security of the United States of America. So, of looking at raising the level of U.S. funding to support the U.N. refugee effort. We have raised our numbers uh, in the past year. We put more resources behind uh, some of these background checks. But the fact of the matter is they do need to uh, be thoroughly vetted. Is the administration willing to go to Congress and say, we need to raise the 